Welcome back, everyone. I was just out collecting some stuff. I've somehow found some rye that's been here the whole time and just been passing by it without even noticing. It just keeps blending in with the, uh, like the grass. Go and check these really quick. And then I got a few of them mushrooms that spawned, picked up some quartz. I don't think it's in there, I think it's down here in the other one. That, uh, oh, another fish. That island that I went to check out in the last episode, and I, it was kind of too dark to really make out anything, and I didn't want to be out there with it being severely pitch black, so I just head back home. Here, get these fish put away as long as there's spots for them. I got these mushrooms. Do I have a spot for them? I do not. Take those berries and eat them. in there. Seeds, grass. All right. So the other thing that I was doing was picking up all the stones that I can find around the island. I made some fence fencing, which I'm not going to use for actual fencing. At least not yet. So what we're going to do is... Let's go ahead and just... Set that down for now, we don't need to take it. Uh, we could probably throw the seed in here as well. Alright. And I did put these vines up. I don't think they'll grow, but I'm not 100% positive that they won't, so I just I left them for now. But we're going to go over here, and we're going to hunt some of these wolves. And the reason why I got a lot of stones is... I can craft a lot of spears with the black guard. I'm not super accurate with or my range damage is lower and I don't want to get too close and then the wolves tear me up so we're gonna throw rocks at a distance and hopefully we can get some of them. Preferably I'm looking for animal fat and hides. I would take out this bear too, but he's too far out here and I'd have to go down there and collect his body. Could go after these raptor looking things as well. But we're just gonna settle for the wolves. Not on this island, but on the one that I started on. Because I know that one has mushrooms on one tree, which I think is an oak tree. And I'd like to get some seeds for that. Eventually I'd like to come back to this island. Oh, there's a pine tree. It'd be nice to get some seeds for that. Along with the uh, horse tail, I think it's called. Make some medicine out of that. But we're going to find a spot that we can pull her up and just chuck stones. And maybe a spear or two. As long as we don't lose them. Because I, I technically didn't even have to make that copper. I just found it. Nah, I think that's a pine tree. But that one might be oak. This is probably too far. Nothing around us. So we got that one there, one there. And I think at least two up here. Oh, there's the other one. So I need to find a way. I think probably this island pillar up. Oh, there's a fourth one.
Hopefully they haven't noticed me yet. So if we dig out this. We'll put it there. Place that here. Which allows us to stand on it. And we can pillar up with them. And we're probably too far away. That one. And of course, now they're on the other, the other side. And I don't want to have to waste all my stones on this. Oh, and I completely didn't even get that message. So now we got a temporal storm coming in eight hours. And I don't really have anything built for that. So I think what I'll probably do is just sail around while they're spawning around me and hopefully I don't get killed. Come on, throw the stones. Probably have to try to go over here. Nope, actually that X actually got him. I just don't think I have enough for all of them. Come on, just hit the damn wolf. This idea might not work out like I want it to. I think maybe go to that one island even further south, now that I've wasted almost all these stones. There's that island that had the clay on it, but I think killing those wolves might be a little bit easier than this, because this I'm going from like one island to another, and I'm a little too afraid to get close to them make this more effective. I was kind of hoping that they would start running towards me and then be down here and I could just pelt them closer. Alright, so let's go further south. I mean, we still haven't been out fully further south, so I can at least get some more exploring done. Raccoon I could try to kill. Yeah, we'll just keep heading south. That way we can try to live through this. Is that some berries that I can get? as well since this is going to be the only food I have until I get back. Well, I got both these that'll heal for pretty good but try to save it for as long as I can. And then there was that one island down here so I think it might just be this one that had a ton of stones all over it. I'll probably hit that. Collect all those. 
That way I got more ammunition. Because I'm pretty sure I can't really build a bow yet. And I don't really have... I mean, I can make flint arrowheads. Actually, maybe I, I can't. I think you have to be an archer for that. But... I don't have a lot of feathers. Flint, don't really need that. No berries. Good. Just wanted to make sure there's no bees here. Any vines that I can take? Nope. They just don't have any berries on them either. I'm starving. Thought I was being attacked by something. Well, I was being attacked by hunger, but... More flint. Man, I can always use flint, but I don't need to grab it right now. Another mod I'm thinking about installing. Oh, that's a goat. Two goats. If I remember, those are there, but that kind of comes into play with the mod that I'm wanting to in install the uh, animal cage mod. So that way I can just come out, grab animals, and just take them back. Don't have to worry about trying to lead like these goats all the way back to my island. That's definitely not going to work. Get some chickens. Quartz up there. Yeah, I think this is where the, all those stones were. Oh, we got some golems. Yeah, there we go. This will definitely get me some ammunition. And we got four hours until the storm wraps. I'm really hoping I can just outrun them with my little surfboard thing. Raft, I guess it's called. Because I know in other playthroughs that, not ones that I've played on YouTube, but other playthroughs I've done in the past, I've just kind of outrun them. Actually, what is the severity of it? Light temporal storm. So yeah, I might just be able to run around with them chasing behind me. Oh, here's some crabs. Yeah, my range damage sucks so much. That still didn't kill it. And I know stones don't do a ton of damage, but still. That's 
Was it that one? Can't remember which one I was attacking. Let's try the spear. I'd have to get a little close to one of them. That's fine. So I don't think crabs do a ton of damage unless they all come at me. That spear definitely does better. Which I mean it should. Crab meat. That just cooks into crab meat, so that's not like bush meat. Working on another stack here. So, I mean, collecting stones isn't that bad. I can use clay to turn these into clay stone, which for the project I'll probably want to work on anyway. I want to make at least the outside of it out of stone and then chisel the rest of it to make it look like something better. I don't know if I do it out of clay stone though. Oh, that's a snake. Don't know if he's venomous, but we're just going to walk the other way. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot there's a trader out here too. We'll go see what he's got. Uh, yeah, let's just keep those stones. I don't really need more than just two stacks. Or if that leads to anything interesting. And once again, I look down and I realize I did not bring a torch. I mean, I got sticks. I can always make a fire starter and make a torch, but I don't think I was intending to be out this far. Okay, so I can sell him... Be nice if I had some pumpkins. Scops, soybeans. I'll have to remember that this guy's here if I ever get pumpkins and soybeans. Scops, I mean, I can technically make those, but I think that'd be kind of a waste of what few cattails I actually have. And that does remind me, now that we're actually down here, this is where I think that extra, that other set of cattails were. So we might as well, if they're not grown, just rip them up and bring them back so I don't have to come all the way back out here. Spears are still doing good. Yeah, I did not intend to actually turn this into more of a exploring episode. I just wanted to kill wolves and then the drifter was like, no, you're going to have to deal with us now. Oh well. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Because this is, what, day 16 and we're finally having a, a storm. I wonder if we'll get to see Dave walking around. Oh, and the cattails are finally regrown. So that means when we get back, we'll be able to make copper. Because now I'll be able to make that tong. Let's see if I got enough time to rip these up. Tong first. If I have enough left over, I'll make that third basket or fourth basket that 
I just have not been getting around to. That might be an oak over there. Or maybe I might hold off on the basket if I'm planning on hunting. Because then I can just save up to get the at least a hunter's back. I don't know if I'll be able to replace them all with hunter packs. But at least get the one. Okay, so here's where the clay is. that berry. So 11 cattails and then 11 to plant. I know there's wolves down there. I think it's just the one. I know there's supposed to be more than one. The other's probably hiding. I don't think I got enough time to fight them all, so I'm going to try to sneak down and grab these berries. Yeah, because that storm is coming in fast. And I know I should just save these berries, but I don't really want to stop to have to eat if I can avoid it. So we'll wait till the storm actually hits and then we'll take off just go in that one direction. And pray that I don't get like one shotted by a drifter. I hope that I have the severity turned down because I didn't like how severe it was so I did turn it down so if I haven't got it turned down that much for people that kind of don't like wavy effects you might not want to watch this part so I think I turned it down pretty low oh there's Dave See, now right now with what I was talking about in the last episode, if they made a drifter or just serpent or like giant drifter piranha that would just swim out here. Not like Dave, because Dave you can't interact with, but one that would actually attack you. That would make this pretty terrifying. Because I think I'll probably just be able to swim away and then the storm will be over but we'll see I mean the worst that'll happen is I lose all of this because by the time I get back out here it'll probably all be gone but I'm not really equipped to fight drifters yet and I would have built a shelter kinda like one that I built in previous my uh, vanilla run that I was doing but I think they made a change to where you can't just put stones on the floor and not have drifters spawn I think they spawn on stones now you have to make the the gap from the floor to ceiling pretty low, so that way they can't spawn there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to try to circle this island until it's over. Because I don't want to get too far out and then lose my way now that it's getting dark. That's 
weird world gen going on down there. Yeah, I might have to push the the hunting of these wolves back to tomorrow. vibe that this rift crossover always gives me is like in Silent Hill when you're going from foggy to the like the metal corrupt world that's what it always reminds me of and I'd love to hear that siren if like once the storm starts approaching you get that siren going off from nowhere just add more creep value to it This is kind of a cheese way to get out of actually facing the storm, but we'll eventually fight off a, a proper storm. There's a wolf to my right. Go ahead and avoid him. I mean, I could have just slept in a bed since I have that turned on, but I mostly have that turned on in case. I am actually in the middle of just a build or something that I don't want to just stop in the middle of and fight a bunch of drifters. I would go ahead and use that. But other than that, we'll actually face the drifters or in this case, just run away from them. We're just basically chasing Dave. And no, I did not name it from that. I think it's just the uh, Vintage Story community has named him Dave. Or at least someone did and it just stuck. I think I'm gonna head for this island. And just circle it until the storm's over. starting to go away because I might just have to set up camp or at least just wait out on one island as long as the rift activity is low enough every time the, the screen kind of shakes like that I think a drifter is trying to spawn on me or spawning in my location at least that's what I think it is I probably wrong on that though I don't know if I've explored these islands there's a trader Yeah, I might just shack up with the trader for the night. Yeah, I don't think I've been out here. Oh, there's a rift. Let's go ahead and get close to this island, see what we got. I think just some flowers. see a tree in there. Alright, I think I'm gonna just shack up with the drifter for tonight. Or if he's got a bed, I might use it just to get to tomorrow. Which would actually be the first time I've slept in this entire playthrough. Which, I don't know if that's kinda a long time to go for most people. Sometimes if I have a lot of time that I want to be building stuff. Oh shit. Ore, lead ore, and our actual first ruins. Got some bony soil. Might have to spend some time digging this out just to see if there's any urns. 
which there might not be. Actually, I'll probably just take the whole damn thing apart so I got some cobblestone. Actually got some storage that I can't... I mean, I can use it, but I can't take it. Yeah, we're gonna climb in here and just probably use his bed, but let's see what, we, what he's got. Okay, we can give him fat. Charcoal we can actually make. We can we know where some peat is. I mean it doesn't have that bad of stuff. It'd be nice to get some decorative vessels, but I don't technically need them. Alright. Well, I'm going to call it here, probably sleep in the bed, so that way I can start tomorrow's episode. Oh, is there anything in here? Nope. But this is where I'm going to call it, so I will see you guys in the next one.